Here are some notes on injury to the conus medullaris. This is an extremely rare complication of spinal anesthesia with an estimated incidence of serious neurologic injury at one to six per 100,000 cases. It's most likely to occur with inadvertent injection at or above the L2 to L3 intervertebral space. This occurs when anesthetic solution is injected directly into the conus medullaris, which is typically at spinal level L1 to L2. You can see the conus medullaris here. Now typically when we do a spinal, we usually aim for the L5 to S1 level, so much lower than where the conus medullaris should be. When you inject anesthesia into the conus medullaris, it can form a syrinx or a fluid-filled cavity that increases pressure on the neural pathways. The symptoms depend on your needle orientation, your injection volume, injection level, and the patient's anatomy. There are some neurologic symptoms that typically involve multiple nerve distributions as a result of having this syrinx, of having this uh, fluid in the spinal column. It can be unilateral or bilateral, and it may include sensory and or motor deficits. Now there should be some warning signs while you're actually doing the spinal anesthetic that would prompt you not to inject. One warning sign is pain during the injection. Um, if you have pain during the injection, you want that pain to completely go away. If the patient has paresthesias, you expect the paresthesias to be temporary and go away as soon as you put the needle in. If the pain or paresthesias are persistent, you should immediately reposition your needle. You should immediately halt the procedure, remove the needle, and go in at a different spot. The symptoms can be heterogeneous due to individual anatomic variations, so not everybody presents this way, but there has been a study that shows that pain during injection um, should immediately halt the procedure.